ready? I am. Okay. One tab. One tab. I can wind it up and in more. I can wind it up. One tab. One tab. These are his arms. Now you turn him around. And then you turn his torso around this way. Then you spread his legs out like so. Oh, sorry. The canopy has to go up like this. Then you take his head out and you put this here and then you tab this section into this section here. Just like that. Now you can take his legs out and they tuck away pretty easily right here. There's a joint right there that comes right out. Then this piece here, you want to tuck underneath. Oh, sorry. These, they come out really easily. You tuck it so it stops right there. And then you take this and push it in all the way like that. Let's watch this side here. Tuck it down. Tuck it in. Okay. And now you got his feet. These are his feet, the tips of the car. Just pull up like this. And they go in the slots like that. Now this part comes up, that turns around like that. This part comes up, and then this turns out like that. It's okay, the screaming kid actually makes it a much better video. And I think in the pictures I might have made a mistake on his arms. I'm not sure I'll have to look at that again. But it's a I possibility I left his arms like this. When they should be out like this and then his hands like this. Now here's the problem. Which oh yeah, sorry, his fins in the back. The spoilers are actually turned into the little fins in the back and they just his twist wings. out. His wings, you yeah, know. The so, you had to the right. Um, so here's the confusing part. The picture shows that the weapon sticks in his hand like that and it's supposed to stay, but it doesn't stay up like this. So I'm utterly confused as to what they're getting at, but there's no other way to slot it in there. So this, this actually goes into his hand like this. I'm assuming it would be like that, but the picture shows this going up, which is really which is confusing. But for the vintage wheel jack, these are almost exact like the vintage wheel jack, this piece here, but wheel jack, uh, vintage one came with two, but you can put it on the slot here. There's little slots here, and you can put it on like this, and he doesn't need a weapon. Wheel jack never carried a weapon anyway from the original, but there's all kinds of articulation with this character. His um, wrist, or his wrist, swivel here his elbow here shoulder here head back and forth knees right there on both sides even ankles they, they can come out like that so you can pose them in like a lot of action poses or so um, but yeah it's just a ton of ton of our articulation with this bad boy <clears throat> And that's um, the new wheel jack. It was actually pretty legit. You know, I love the fact that they're going towards the generation one style of Transformers, but almost like maybe based off the cartoon of the Transformers, you know, generation one cartoon version. Um, but I'm gonna transform him back. You know, this character is actually fairly easy to transform. It's not like one of them difficult ones. Like Prime has a bunch of moving parts. You just gotta get familiar with transforming these back and forth you know um these toys are definitely a little bit more challenging for pot younger kids still because of all the moving parts you know it might be a little bit more challenging so i'm going to twist them around like this i'm going to take his feet pull it down click it in pull it down click it in right here it just clicks into a tab all these are tabs i'm going to pull his hand uh leg back out I'm gonna lift the tip of the canopy out right here, and then I'm gonna 
tuck it in right here. Pull it out, pull the tip of the canopy, and then tuck it in. It's almost like the design of this one here is almost like the, um, how the design of um, uh, Combiner Wars Transformers, because a lot of the Combiner Wars transformed almost a similar where the leg comes up and goes into the, the, um, the thigh. And then you just click it. There's a tab here, and it goes into here. Just like that. Now, the thing I did forget was before you turn them around, you want to pull the canopy down because the canopy will stay this way. And then you tap the canopy into this section here because this part, this torso is a different section here, you know. And then you can put Will Jack's head down like that. And it'll always be shown on the bottom of the car. Just like that. It's super, super easy to transform this guy. You want to pull the shoulders up. And so they rest here. Pull the shoulders up. Now you want to turn this around. The wrist part, or the elbow. Then turn the wrist to where they're like this way so you can see this the side of the car, like the rear end of the car. Um, but you want to make sure these, this, there's a slot there, there's a slot there for these tabs here, and they have one on each side. And it just tabs in just like that. And you will see a little gap in here where you see the pins that they put in there, but there's nothing that covers that. So that's, but it's still pretty, pretty legit looking car once it's done being transformed. Then you tab this into the si section here. Voila. Wheeljack, wheeljack back into his uh, car mode. Super simple.